Somebody gotta win this one, right? Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the ravens, like the ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. So team keep it clean very very special guest a frequent guest a regular guest i guess you can't even call them a guest no more um big friend of the channel uh my guy q quincy carrier um legend browns fan uh one of the one, one of the first people to do a live stream directly from the browns game when they took on the falcons a couple weeks ago so history in the making but q before we get into it uh, let everybody know where they can find you at and exactly, even though they already know what you do, still let everybody know what you do. Oh, yeah. You can find me on YouTube.com slash Quincy Carrier. You can use the new handle feature they keep telling me about oh, every yeah. time I open the studio thing, right? <laughs> Get the handle, right? Okay. You, know, you can find me at Quincy Carrier, all one word. Um, you can find mm -hmm. me on Twitter at Quinn C, where I'm usually joking around a bit more than I do on my YouTube channel. Also, you can yeah. find me if you just want to hear general NFL talk. Maybe I might even talk about your Ravens or whatever team mm. you chair for. Maybe they might be up on the docket. I got the new channel, Worst Take. Just put mm -hmm. my name, Worst Take, up in there. I just did a video about the Bills. Is this their year? Um, but we, hey. we getting on and popping. I'm working a lot. You know what I mean? AFC North Talk. I, oh, there's yeah. probably other That's stuff true. I'm forgetting. But, you know, if you want to find me, I ain't hard to find is the point. I like it. I like, and, and I have links to all of those channels for his, his main channel, the Quincy Carrier, his Worst Take channel, and AFC North Talk all down in the description. And, of course, the, the link to his Twitter as well. Now, I've been, I've been telling you, man. I told you, I think yesterday, the day before yesterday, like, man, well, I see what you've been putting on Twitter and stuff. I'm like, man, Quincy <laughs> is deep in, as, as Hill Quincy right now. Um, how, how, how have these... How these Browns been doing? Because I haven't gotten to really watch the Browns extensively at all. So how these Browns been looking? They've been looking good, man. Uh, they, I mean, offensively, they've been fine, except for last week. They they looked pretty poor last week. But mm -hmm. they just had one of those games where nobody did anything good last week. So I'm going to just try to throw that one out the window as best as possible. Right now, the story about the Browns is the offense is fine, right? Um, I think they'll be continue to be fine. They have Nick Chubb. Jacoby mm -hmm. Bursett is good in burst. Um, and, and they they're fine there. Amari Cooper's been really good for this team. The issue with the Browns is we can't do anything on defense. Uh, oh. we have been plugging holes on defense all year. First at the beginning of the year, it was a secondary, could not get the communication straight, giving up those big plays. We fixed that. Now we can't stop the run. It's one problem after another um, on defense, and it, it's been bad. The tackling's been bad. The run fit's been bad. A lot of Browns fans not looking forward to two teams, um, the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson, and, and that running attack because we have seen what other quarterbacks have done to us and in that Josh Allen Bills team. Mm -hmm. That could be something bad for us. <laughs> hey, we're going to see, man, because um, Ravens' run game this year, it's been a little shaky. It's been up and down. Um, last week, Keen Drake, he had a surprise game over 100 yards, had a super high average per carry, um, which he could have been used a little bit more, but we'll see how this week goes. Now, um, what, what is the Browns record right now? Two and four. Two and four. Okay, okay. Yeah. So kind, kind of close with the Ravens because Ravens sitting at three and three. We, we're a game apart from each other. Um, so this is a division game. And I know um, Browns, they, uh, again, you mentioned it, that it's been rough. Um, but division games tend to bring out the best uh, of the best when it comes to two teams playing each other. We, we've seen it so many times over the years. Uh, teams in the division, they could be having the worst records in the world, but they go against each other, they match up, and everything changes. It's like those records don't even matter. Uh, what is one thing that you feel like you just need to see better of from those Cleveland Browns this week against the Ravens? They need to have better effort on defense. I think that's been the main thing is that the tackling effort has not been there. The effort to be where you're supposed to be on run fits has not been there. I mean, people mm -hmm. are saying that this team has quit on them. That's how bad the effort has been. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's not been 
anything great. It's not been exemplary on defense, and I feel like the talent is there, but the effort is not for whatever reason. Mm. They can't come into this week lackadaisical against Lamar Jackson. That's that's a recipe for Lamar to get paid, right? But that's not necessarily a recipe to go to and own a division. So that that's been the biggest problem that the Browns have had is that the defensive effort has gone between lackluster to forgetful to just poor. Um, mm. And that's the problem that they have. And they had a problem stopping Bradley Zapp, had a problem stopping the Chargers, had a problem stopping Marcus Mariota and the Falcons. Mm. There's not, this is not going to be any different. Right. You know, the Baltimore Ravens are not any worse or any, but they are a better offense, at least on paper than that. And if they aren't, they probably will put it together because every other offense has against this defense the way they've been playing. So that's been the problem right now for this team. And man, this um, this would be the week that I think they would definitely need to put it together Um, because I honestly do feel at this point, I know they three and three. It's not the best record, certainly not the worst either. But the way that things are trending, I just feel like if, if they were to lose this game, I feel like a, a big change would come. Uh, a coordinator would be going, just depending on what happened. But anyway, so hopefully we don't have to have that conversation, but you just never know with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, now with the Browns, because with the Ravens, they've the offense has just, they've struggled, especially uh, in the second half of games. Overall, this season, the offense in the first half, they've been doing their thing for the most part. Um, they, they've been pretty good in the first half overall, but the second half, they've just, they keep falling asleep. Um, they're not consistent. They get lackadaisical. It just, they just fall apart. Um, has this Browns team been, how have they been from first to the second half, or has anything changed, or is everything pretty much the same or what? Well, I mean, at the beginning of the season, the fourth quarter defense was a problem. This is like a good defense for like three quarters, and then they would fall apart in the fourth mm. quarter. But that's gone out the window. They've just been bad all four quarters for the last <laughs> few weeks. Like, it's hard to tell what the problem is because so many problems have popped up. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, again, like with this team, it's not like they have one flaw in one area. It's like we, we fix this thing. Three other things pop up. Mm -hmm. And I think that's years of I mean, I think the Raven fans probably feel a similar way about this all offensively. Right. Um, when you talk about the Ravens, it's like, yeah, we can fix one problem, but three things gonna pop up mm -hmm. because we've been ignoring and, and not necessarily getting long term solutions mm -hmm. into problems uh, on the defensive line. Kind of similar to wide receiver thing for the Ravens, where it's like, OK, <laughs> We've been trying to like we've been trying to do one year deals and, and, and you know, be cheap here and save some money at defensive mm. tackle and save some money here at linebacker. And now you're at the point to where that's biting you in the butt and you can't really get what you want out of this season mm. because you did not make the investments in the future when you had the chance to. So now you're just sitting here like, oh, what are we going to do to fix the defense? You you try to fix one, but the foundation's bad, right? Like eight things just keep crumbling over. You can only put so much duct tape in your house before you got to foreclose on it, right? Like at some <laughs> point, it's not going to be up the code. And that's what's happening with the Browns defense is these one-year solutions that we've been putting together in the interior, they finally collapsed in on each other. Now we're down to playing um, Jordan Elliott and Tommy Togiai. And Jordan's okay, but Tommy Togiai is not an NFL player right now. So mm. it's just it's unfortunate. Mm. Now you talked about um these one year deals, uh sort of stopgap deals, bridge deals. Um, somebody who's sort of being a bridge player for the Browns right now is Jacoby Brissett. Mm -hmm. How has he been thus far? He's been all right. Like I think he's been um at times better than you expect, mm. at times exactly what you expect. Um, you know, his job is not difficult. They're not asking him to do anything difficult. And when they do have to ask him to do something difficult, that's where he struggles. Right. That's where it becomes apparent that he is Jacoby Brissett. Like he's not a franchise guy. He's a fringe starter, um, high quality backup quarterback. So you're going to run into issues where, you know, we get into 28 point game. Yeah, they, that's not where Jacoby Brissett's going to shine. Um, he's going to have his bad games. He's going to have his bad moments. That's what it is with him. Um, that's why he's paid $8 million and, you know, guys that are coming in and right now the franchise guys are paid $45 million, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's a world of difference between those two quarterbacks. Um, so 
Yeah, Jacoby's been fine. Um, but unfortunately, I think this team really needed the defense to step up in order to reach his goals because the offense, it, it, they're going to be decent. They score well. They're well coached. They're, they they call a good game there. They run the ball really well. They're going to be able to put up points most weeks. But the problem is how fast you can put up those points, right? Because now we get in a situation where we're down 14. We only got a quarter left. That's a problem for this team, right? Um Whereas if you're a team like the Chiefs or you're a team like the Bills, you don't really worry about it because if you just play good enough defense or two drives, you can score real quick if you need to. Mm. That's not the Browns thing. They can score. It ain't on command. They got they got offense on oven. You know what I mean? Like we don't got that microwave offense, right? Where you can just <laughs> put it in, beep, beep, let it go. We only got the oven right now. The oven's good. You can cook a lot of stuff in the oven, and it tastes good, but it take a while. You got preheat it. Mm. You got Lego. That's the Browns' <laughs> offense right now. They got that oven offense. See, that's that's crazy because uh, you mentioned how if the Browns go down by ten or fourteen, then yeah, that's a scary sight. But for us Ravens fans, if the Ravens go up by <laughs> ten or fourteen, it's oh, a scary right. sight. <laughs> it's so, both of them for us, man. You forget we blew a thirteen point lead in two uh, minutes this year. <laughs> oh, was that the Jets game? That was the Jets. Not two minutes. One minute and forty five seconds, man. Uh, One minute and 45 seconds, and the Jets had no timeout with uh, Joe Flacco, who, uh, what is it, 10 years past 2012? So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Like, you know, we not comfortable at any point in these oh, games. Like, yeah. that's just what it is. It's been one of those years. We've been up a bunch of – we went up 14 against the Chargers. Uh, we went up, what, 13 – at the end of the game against the uh, Jets, I was ready to write the post game show. Yeah. I was getting ready to do the post game victory stream, and then I click on they lost. What happened? You know what I mean? Um, so it, it, it's been up and down. We even went up like eighteen against the uh, Panthers and gave up that lead. Just came back at the end of it. So mm. <laughs> it, it's okay. been one of them years in Graven. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like we're going through uh, like Ravens and Browns are sort of parallel when it comes to giving up leads right now. Um, and then my last question before we get out of here, two parts, uh, one offense and one defense. Who is one player that Ravens fans should watch out for that we may not know about? Or even if it's somebody that we do know about, who's somebody that we should watch out for on both offense and one on defense too? On defense? Okay, you're going to make me work that hard. Uh, offense, <laughs> offense, though, I think David Njoku is somebody who's really taking a step this year. Oh, really? Okay. Um, yeah, uh, he he's really been what everybody has hoped he has been mm -hmm. um, this year. So David and Joku, somebody you guys know of Amari Cooper, he's been oh, himself. Yeah. Um, I would say also, <laughs> and I know Raven fans don't want to hear this. Nick Chubb's been good the last three, four years. He's been something different this year. He has been spectacular uh, this mm. year. Something he's been running with more of a motor than I've ever seen him, quicker than I've ever seen him, stronger than I've ever seen him. Um, he he's been something else. Uh, defensively, gotta be honest with you. There's Miles Garrett, there's okay. Avion Clowney, okay. There is Greg Newsom, okay. There's MJ Emerson, who's pretty good, our rookie corner. Everybody else, don't know about him week to week. Um, so they got four guys that I think are probably going to be like returning. Everybody else on this defense. Ugh, hey, it could be anything else, right? JOK is usually good, but he has been up and down. They're going to try to put Deion Jones in, the linebacker they oh, yeah, for, uh, for the Falcons. They're going to mm -hmm. try to put him in this week and see if that fixes some of the problems. Um, the defensive tackle play has not been great. Um, mm -hmm. And the safety play has been, I think, even worse. Um, and it's not been talked about because it, it the defensive tackle stuff is like we got fourth round picks down there. We got third round. Like we don't expect much out the mm -hmm. people that are that are the defensive tackle. So like that was kind of expected. The safety play has been bad and that's been unexpected. I think that's been hurtful for this team because John Johnson's there. We invested a lot of money in him. Right. Um, and then uh, Grant Delpit, second round pick, oh, yeah. first round talent. He's there. He's been very up and down. So. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's that's the biggest thing for this defense. I think they accommodated for the defensive tackle position not being good, but those linebackers being bad and the safeties being bad, mm -hmm. that's been what's been most uh, damaging to this team's ability to make up for the duct tape solutions. But again, you know, this is why you don't do these one year duct tape. We'll get it down the road. This is why when you have an obvious problem, most fans in your fan base say, hey, Let's just get a fix. You know, let's go to Walmart and get the thing, <laughs> right, that we need. Not like the thing that looks like what we need, right? Like, that's why I feel like we're, we both Ravens and Browns fans mm -hmm. can relate because 
we have been watching our team. You know, the Ravens have needed wide receivers forever. The Browns have needed a defensive tackle forever. And we watch all these like name brand things come down the aisle. Like, oh, that look nice. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, they they go uh they go uh Devontae, what was it? Devontae Adams, you know, uh DeAndre Hawkins, uh, uh what was his name? Down there in oh, Buffalo. Man. Uh, Stephon Diggs, Stephon Diggs you know all these guys oh yeah it looks nice and, and then you know you, you see your dad go all the way to the bottom shelf <laughs> free agent wide receiver number 37 that's what oh, it, it's boy. been you know what <laughs> I mean like um, and it gets frustrating sometimes with that especially mm-hmm. when you see these problems uh, start to start, start to stop you from winning games it's one thing when you win a games and you're like hey, I would wish we would have this it would be much easier it's a whole mm-hmm. other thing when you're not winning games and you're looking at that like, well, we couldn't create. And now we mm-hmm. talking about this being a problem and this player not be- – like people are talking about Miles Garrett not being good. Mm-hmm. He has no help. Oh. And he's still very good. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I bet people are saying the same thing about Lamar not being good because he's not making up for wide receiver play. And it's like at some point you got to get me something to put on the plate so I can mm-hmm. make a deal, right? And, and that's been the problem for this defense is they have – talent at some positions but they really don't have talent at some core positions and that's really hurting them mm. okay all right so in closing browns ravens i don't know why i keep thinking this game is on sunday night but it's on sunday at 1 p.m how do you think it's gonna go I feel like because like last year we played on sunday night right yeah yeah that was that four interception game but we yeah. won but it is one of the ugliest wins the ravens ever got but they did get it Shout out Baker Mayfield for that. One. <laughs> Only Baker can do that, right? Lose a four interception game. How did we do that? Shout out Baker. Was he like 32 on QBR? It's something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Future Raven? And great. Oh, no, hey, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Chill out with that one. Man. Y'all want six down there. Oh, uh, but yeah, you, you asked me what what how do I think this game's gonna play out? Mm-hmm. Mm. This can go one of two ways. Well, yeah. <laughs> Either the Ravens blow us out, which I do think is a possibility. I I just don't I, I worry about this this Browns team's ability to 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 really fight when it gets hard. Like they just don't seem like a team that's willing to go uphill um mm. in some of these circumstances. So I mean, backs against the wall for them though. Like everybody's looking at them. I mean, this is a heart check this week. So we're going to see what they're made out of because if they, after turning in the last three performances they did defensively, if they turn in another bad one, I mean, that's not even, that's not just going to hurt you this year. That's going to hurt everybody on this team's ability to get money next year when they see that Mm. kind of a tape come out. But, um, you know, I I can see a world where like, look, the Ravens offense is struggling, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Lamar Jackson has not been his normal Chris self. He he was his first two weeks this year. So Mm -hmm. I can see a world where, where, yeah, the defense is not great, but Lamar is not also put uh, just kind of missing on some opportunities, kind of like how he did um, last week. And this game stays close. If that happens, I like the Browns' chances. If this is a low-scoring game, if this game doesn't get to 20, 30 points, I like the Browns' chances in that because I think the Browns can move the ball um, despite what we saw last year, last week against the Ravens. I think they're going to be able to run the ball against them. I think they can run at Odafe and be able to get the outside edge and all that contained and stuff that they want. Um, mm-hmm. I think they're going to be able to get it, especially if Wyatt Teller's back, and they'll be able to score that way. Now, I do worry about Jacoby Brissett throwing into that secondary. That secondary's been really good the last couple of weeks. I had questions about whether Marcus Peters is still Marcus Peters. Apparently, he's still there. <laughs> uh, um, so he is still there. So this the secondary is really good for the Ravens, but I, mm-hmm. I just – I think the Browns will be able to move the ball enough running it to be able to open some things up in the passing game. Um, and if this is a low scoring game, I have the Browns. If this gets 20, 25 points, anything above 25 to win, and then this is going to be the Ravens. Um, but I do think <laughs> I'm confusing everybody. I think that it's likely that the Browns lose this game, but I also think if they do, it's probably going to be a blowout. So mm-hmm. either that, if that, if it's not a blowout by the first half, I feel much more comfortable. Well, I feel real comfortable about the Browns' chance to win. If that makes any sense to anybody watching. No, no, I, I get what you're saying, but I mean, us Ravens fans are feeling like if if the Ravens are blowing the Browns out <laughs> at halftime, we 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 not comfortable with it because we just see, see we look, look, we did that to y'all though what year? I believe it was like what 24, 2015, 16 or something like 20, that. We went up like twenty two. Yeah, it was like twenty one or twenty two points in the first half. Yeah, and then we didn't oh. score a single point after that. 
Yeah, I remember that game win. Hey man, y'all still related to us. I know y'all like to act like y'all not related to us no more, Raven mm. fans. Y'all still related to the Brown. <laughs> we still the same bloodline. We still family. You gonna hey. get some of this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so so I got away from it because y'all drafted Ed Reed and Ray Lewis and Jonathan Ogden and won a championship. Y'all thought y'all got away from it. Mm-mm, nah, we still related, Raven fans. Two, two of them. Two of them. Oh yeah. Um, but um, yeah, Ray man. Lewis was the draft pick we traded for in like what ninety three or something like that. No clue. We Don't got that me. first, that extra first y'all got for that, like in like ninety three or ninety four. Some I mm. think it had something to do with Andre Rising. But yeah, shout out Ray. You should supposed to be a Brown. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that that definitely worked out for the Ravens big time. But Q, You're welcome. Uh, man. Uh, thank thank you. You know, and appreciate appreciate you coming on the channel as always. Uh, one more time before we get out of here, let everybody know where they can find you. YouTube.com slash Quincy Carey. You can also find me on Twitter. Um, I don't really do that on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, but you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on uh, YouTube, a bunch of different places. AFC North Talk, Cleveland.com. Uh, where else am I at? Uh, worst take. I think I got it covered. Yeah, that, that's all of it right there. Um, you can find me on there talking football most of the time. Mm-hmm. Well, pretty much all the time talking football. AFC North talk. We talk about the Ravens all the time. Did the Ravens – well, Ravens lost this weekend. Yeah, we sure did. did. On the mm-hmm. Ravens. We did have to go in on the Ravens. <laughs> well, was, was Sonny on there? Yeah, Sonny was okay. not happy. All right, cool. I was. We were having a conversation. This is a teaser. We were having a conversation of if the Ravens don't make the playoffs mm. and Lamar Jackson is not signed, mm. do you get Lamar Jackson and, 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 and John Harbaugh to run this back, given that, like, you know, the, this this really ain't worked out like you wanted it to the last four mm. years? That That's the question to ask. It is. It sure <laughs> is. That's a, that's a real question right there, yeah, baby. Decision time. So, yeah, yeah. it's they, they definitely got some decisions to make. Um, and, and a lot of us Ravens fans got some decisions we feel they should make, but we'll see how things play out. Uh, but, but anyway, appreciate you. Much love to you. Uh, keep doing what you've been doing. Team Keep It Clean. Make sure you check out uh, Quincy on all his YouTube channels on everything that he's doing. It'll all be down below in the description. Uh, so appreciate y'all watching. Ain't no chance what I mean. You two team keep it clean. See my boy, he like gotta made it, gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. Shout out to graven. <laughs>